Hello there and welcome. My name is Jesse. I am the founder and one of the cool sculpting and cool tone providers at Element Body Lab in Dallas, Texas. And every Tuesday we go live to talk a little bit about cool sculpting, cool tone, cost of cool sculpting, or some of the other FAQs that we get here as body contouring specialists. And today I'm actually talking about cool sculpting for men because we're seeing an influx of more and more men doing consultations with us. And I wanted to cover some of the content that does or some of the questions that actually usually come up during those consultations specifically. Uh, if you are looking for some information uh, or if your husband or your partner is looking for some information, this may be useful to them. Again, my name is Jesse. I'm the founder and one of the cool sculpting and cool tone providers. We are a business located in Dallas, Texas. If you are looking for someone to point you in the right direction or answer your questions, let me encourage you to schedule a free consultation with our team. We do virtual consultations as the first stop to where you don't have to make multiple trips to the office. If you are wanting an in-person consultation, give us a shout. We're happy to accommodate. There's just a couple of other things we usually like to do ahead of time for the in-person consult. But I digress. So the first thing I want to answer is, does cool sculpting work for men? And yes, cool sculpting works no matter your ethnicity, no matter your gender. A fat does not discriminate. And a lot of times whenever we are talking to people, it doesn't matter your shape, your size, your age. Uh, unwanted fat is kind of the number one concern that people have. And so cool sculpting doesn't work based off of gender. It works based off of the type of fat. And so what we're looking for is actually pliable fat that lies above the muscle wall. That's called sub subcutaneous fat. It's the fluffy stuff. So if you think you can pinch this, you can pinch a love handle, uh, but that hard beer belly fat, that's actually visceral fat that lies below the muscle wall and it doesn't work on visceral fat. So it doesn't matter if you're a man, a woman, um, if really what whatever gender you identify with, it doesn't doesn't matter. It really matters. Does your fat is your fat pinchable? So that's the first question. Does it work for men? Yes. Uh, it just depends on the type of fat you have. And then I want to talk about how cool sculpting works because that's usually the next question. Well, how? So what happens during a cool sculpting treatment? We've got tons of videos like time lapses showing cool sculpting treatments. You can find those on our Instagram page as well as our YouTube channel. But we use different sizes and shapes of equipment. This is just a little template that corresponds with an applicator. So the machines actually look like this. So what happens is there's a vacuum inside of that little device, sucks the fat up into this cooling cup. And so whenever we talk about the fat needing to be pliable, this is the reason why. It's got to actually pull into this little applicator cup in order for the treatment to work. So the more contact that you get with these cooling cups, and it doesn't matter the size or shape, we've got different variable ones to be able to accommodate your specific anatomy. And that's how cool sculpting is so customized. But as long as we can get contact and the fat pulls into that applicator cup, uses a heat extraction process. So the machine gets really, really cold and starts to draw that body fat or the heat out of that body fat that's on the cooling panel. So imagine a love handle getting really, really cold. The change in texture then actually triggers an inflammatory response in your body. And that inflammatory response is what we're looking for. And so that change in texture is how we actually trigger a fat cell death. So cool sculpting is a name brand, but the procedure that you're undergoing whenever you do a cool sculpting treatment is called cryolipolysis. And quite literally, you break that word down. Cryo means cold, lipo means fat, lysis means to kill. So using cold to break apart or kill unwanted fat. So that change in texture triggers the inflammatory response, triggers that fat cell death called cryolipolysis, and then your body actually starts to flush the fat cells out over the course of three weeks to three months of whatever tissue we're treating. So you will find that fat being excreted through urine, through fecal matter, through sweat. Uh, really, your lymphatic system is how we're getting rid of it. So anything you do to stimulate your lymphatic system will help stimulate your results. So that is how cool sculpting works and who it works on and really the contact that we're looking for, which takes me to the reason that it's so important to do a consultation is because we've got to identify where you are, where you want to be and what steps we need to take in order for you to get there. Because how many hand pieces or applicators or cycles, those are all basically the same thing. It's just internal jargon and to what term we use, but how many of those will dictate how long the treatment is and how much it costs. And not all cool sculpting is created equal. So cool sculpting is a tool, if you think about it like scissors to a hairdresser, like a paintbrush to an artist or someone who paints your house. But how and where we use those applicators, those templates, will dictate the difference in the results that you see. So sometimes people say, well, I went in for a consultation somewhere else and they told me that I couldn't treat my love handles. 
That may not be true with us. That may not be the same case because how and where we place hand pieces comes down to the skill of our team and our providers. And the interesting thing about us here at Element Body Lab is all the providers here have art degrees. So we're a little bit more in tune with negative space and contouring and how to be actually getting these artistic looking results. But it also indicates that not always do we use the same plan that another, another provider may recommend. So you can do that virtual consultation to be able to figure out the time and the cost associated with your treatment. But we do post our pricing sheet. It's on our website. It's at elementbodylab.com forward slash cost, C-O-S-T, how much does it cost, in order to give you a ballpark. And we can talk about specific body areas, which I'm going to get into today as well. But before we do that, at that consultation, we're also going to talk about the differences between getting rid of fat and building muscle. Because a lot of times, especially for men, it's not actually fat reduction that they're looking for. It's muscle toning that they're looking for. And the Cool Sculpting Portfolio is fantastic because it actually addresses both, both of those concerns. So Cool Sculpting works to get rid of fat. Cool tone works to build muscle and really help get that definition. So maybe you're super fit. Maybe you're an athlete or a runner. Maybe you do um, actually those bodybuilding competitions or anything else. And what you're actually looking for is a six pack or uh, more definition through your abs. And it's not fat that's the problem. Well, if that's the case, we can actually talk about cool tone at the consultation. We'll point you in the right direction. Or if your fat isn't the right pliability to get contact with the cooling panels, we can introduce you to somebody who actually has a great portfolio of other procedures that can work. So I don't want you to think that I'm pushing you to a consultation to put a ton of pressure on you uh, or your partner, your spouse, your husband, any of that. Consultations are designed to be educational and point you in the right direction. So if it's not cool sculpting, we'll point you in the right direction and give you some recommendations for other professionals that specialize in their little niche, whether that's liposuction or um, other procedures that don't use cold because sometimes people have an aversion or allergies to cold and cool sculpting is not a good fit. We can still point you in the right direction if that's the case. Okay. So who sees the best results? So um, I know a lot of times people are like, is it men or women who see the best results? And I actually don't think it's gender specific. What I think whenever you're um, wondering who gets the best results with cool sculpting is who has the right pliability of fat. So I'm gonna lead back to that. The squishier, the softer the fat, the better results you see with cool sculpting. So if you've got that pliable, soft um, fat, then I think that you're going to be really pleased with your cool sculpting treatment. The more fibrous the fat is, the more aggressive we have to be with cool sculpting treatments, to be quite frank. So a lot of times, men specifically, they come in because they want to treat their love handles or their muffin top, and they are athletes or they have been athletes in the past, and they're really, really firm and fibrous through the love handles. If that's the case, sometimes... Cool sculpting isn't a good fit because we're not going to get contact with that cooling panel. So again, that's why our cool sculpting specialists actually will go through all of the detail with you. Our providers are intimately trained with the technology and can tell you, hey, this is going to be a good fit or, hey, you're going to have to do so many rounds of treatment in order to see an efficacious result, in order to see what you're looking for. There may be a more cost effective option or there may be a better option to achieve your goals. Again, consultations are important. Okay, so the most common treatment areas for men specifically, I've already alluded to it, abdomen love handles. So uh, belly fat or the stomach, some people call it that. Um, it's the abdomen and the anatomical term for your love handles is called the flanks. But we have seen men treat really anywhere between their chin and their knees. A uh, common treatment area, especially for working men, is their submental, their chin. So if you've got a double chin and you spend a lot of time on camera, or if you're leading um, trainings and meetings, it can be really uh, self, you could be really self-conscious about the double chin, especially if you see yourself from a side profile. So uh, double chins are a great place to treat, abdomen, love handles. Uh, we've even had some men treat the inner thighs because they actually chafe and it helps with that sensation whenever you're running. So we can customize the treatment plan. But the one place that we do not treat for men here, and this comes up a ton, is the male chest. So I want to talk about why we don't treat the male chest and give you some insight into kind of the behind the scenes. So whenever I started as a cool sculpting provider years and years ago, uh, I actually did treat male chests because I was like, I knew other providers saw great results on it and it seemed like a good thing to add within my portfolio. My medical director felt comfortable with it at that point. And what we saw was one, it's painful because 
the cold is actually on your chest and on your nipple. So it's really uncomfortable from a treatment perspective. And so pain was a bad, like kind of a bad thing. Um, two, it's not FDA cleared in the male chest. So it hasn't been studied. And where I am now in my career and uh, as an organization, we really pride ourselves on offering the safest, the most proven, and the most researched treatments. If there isn't any safety data, if there haven't been any studies done on it, if we don't know how it inter like interplays or actually interacts with the tissue underneath, then it's not worth it because we don't know. And then third, the results that I was seeing the majority of the time were pretty lackluster. And so I want to allude to the last two. Um, the first time, whenever I talk to people about this, sometimes they say, well, did you have anybody who have any safety issues after you treated their chest? No, uh, there were never any problems, but I don't want to wait until there's a problem to stop doing something. So we just kind of stopped preemptively. And two, from a results perspective, did some people see results? Yes. But whenever you're talking about the male chest, there's going to be a component of breast tissue, fluid retention, and fat. And cool sculpting only works on fat. So whenever you're paying for a treatment, you're only treating fat and you're also getting all of this other stuff within the treatment area. And if it's mostly breast tissue or something else, then you're paying for something that I'm not, I, I just, I didn't feel like it was an ethical thing from a provider or a business owner perspective. Whenever there are much more cost effective and safer and studied procedures that work really well. So if the male chest is a concern for you, I implore you to talk to a plastic surgeon. I know whenever men start doing um, research around different body contouring procedures, if this is an area of concern, they're like, I don't want to go under the knife. And I totally get that. There are other providers. If you want to go straight wild, wild west and have a cowboy treat you, there are people out there who treat the male chest. We are not one of them because we don't want to risk your budget or your safety, uh, just to be very blunt. And there are plastic surgeons who can do a small incision right on the bottom side of the nipple so you don't actually notice any scar tissue. The recovery is pretty simple and it actually ends up being about half of the cost of a cool sculpting treatment. So highly recommend to find someone. If you need a plastic surgeon referral, reach out to our team. We actually have a great male plastic surgeon that we refer to. He's a longtime old friend and is fantastic. It's great results. So I'm happy to provide that information. Should you need it, just reach out to us. You can DM us on Instagram or email me directly at jesse at element bodylab.com. It's J-E-S-S-I-E. -S -S -E. There's a contact button in our Instagram bio and on our website. So it makes it super easy, easy to contact us. Um, and that's kind of a wrap. Those are usually the top questions that I get around cool sculpting for men. Um, and if there is something else, if there's something unique to you, then we want to cover that content in a consultation. So write your questions down. I know it's overwhelming whenever you get into a consultation. Sometimes it's one of those like, I forgot what I was going to ask. So write your questions down. We were happy to address them. Virtual consultations are free, but we are a local business in Dallas, Texas. So I know whenever we're doing some of this internet stuff, people find me in like Indiana and Washington. And I'm like, well, you got to find a provider near you. So if you are looking for a provider in Dallas, Texas, we'd be honored to serve as a guide. You can book a consultation with us online. We do all online booking. It's at elementbodylab.com. I would be honored to answer any questions that you have. And I want to say thank you for joining me. I know this is a longer than typical video, but I hope you found it super helpful as you're doing some research around the cool sculpting process. And check out our website for any additional information. Thanks so much. And we'll see you next week.